and sex. Many people only think of them as creepy crawly pests. No one likes itchy bites from mosquitoes or when ants invade your picnic. Mosquitoes and ants are two types of insects. But there are many other types of insects and some of them are very different from ants or mosquitoes. Let's take a look at the monarch butterfly, another type of insect. Monarchs, like many other kinds of butterflies, fly gracefully, are brightly colored, and have one of the most unusual life cycles of any animal. Butterflies and all other insects have six legs. They also have three body parts, a head, thorax, and abdomen. Most insects also have two antennae that they use to feel, smell, and sense the temperature. And like most insects, butterflies have four wings. Look at the monarch's wings. All four are large and bright orange. The two in front are bigger than the two in the rear. Like all insects, the body temperature of butterflies changes with the temperature around them. The large wings of butterflies catch the sunlight as the butterflies rest. Their large wings absorb the heat from the sun so that the butterflies become warm enough to fly. A butterfly goes through many changes during its life cycle. It changes from egg to larva to pupa to adult. The egg is the first stage in a butterfly's life cycle. The female butterfly lays her eggs on the underside of leaves. Monarchs lay eggs only on the milkweed plant. After about four days, the eggs hatch into tiny larvae called caterpillars. This is the second stage of a butterfly's life. When a monarch caterpillar first hatches, it is so small that you can hardly see it. And a caterpillar doesn't look very much like an adult butterfly. One difference is that the caterpillar doesn't have wings. It also has a different color pattern. What are some ways the caterpillar, or larva, is similar to the adult? Well, although you might be fooled, the caterpillar has six legs, just like the adult. You can see the legs near the front of the body. The other body parts that look like legs are called prolegs. Monarch caterpillars have five pairs of prolegs. They are not real legs, but they do help the caterpillar hold on to the leaf. Monarch caterpillars eat only the milkweed plant. However, the milkweed is poisonous for other animals to eat. Those animals won't eat the monarch caterpillars either. Why not? The poison stays inside the caterpillar. Any animal that eats it would get sick. The poison is still there when the caterpillar turns into a butterfly. The bright orange wing color of the butterfly is like a red stop sign, warning hungry animals to stay away. A bird that tries to eat one will remember the bright orange, and it won't be as likely to try another butterfly. Milkweed leaves also provide monarch caterpillars with nutrients. The more a caterpillar eats, the larger it grows. But a caterpillar's skin does not grow with its body. For the caterpillar to grow, it must shed its skin. Its skin splits down the middle and the caterpillar wriggles out of it, already wearing its new, bigger skin. It may eat its old skin, so no nutrients go to waste. The 
caterpillar stage lasts for about two weeks. At the end, the caterpillar is almost five centimeters long. The caterpillar's final change is the most spectacular. That's when the monarch changes into a pupa, the third stage in its life. The caterpillar spins a button of silk on a leaf and hangs from it upside down. When its skin splits this time, the new skin hardens into a green shell called a chrysalis. The butterfly is now on the pupa stage. Inside the chrysalis, the monarch caterpillar turns into a butterfly. The monarch pupa does not eat. It hangs from a leaf while its wings, flight muscles, and other adult organs develop. Toward the end of the pupa stage, the wings gain their color. If you look carefully, you can see them through the chrysalis. Like the caterpillar stage, the pupa stage also lasts for two weeks. When the butterfly emerges from its chrysalis, its body is full of fluids and its wings are dry and shriveled. The butterfly hangs upside down to pump the fluids through the wings. When the wings become strong, the butterfly is ready to fly. The butterfly's life is very different from the caterpillar's. Instead of crawling around eating one type of plant, it flies to different kinds of flowers. Its mouth is different too. In the chrysalis, the butterfly's mouth changes from chewing mouth parts to a long mouth part. Its mouth works like a straw to get the nectar from flowers. You can learn much from the monarch butterfly. As it changes from egg, to larva, to pupa, to adult, we learn how one group of animals grows and develops. So next time you see an insect, stop and see if you can find its similarities to the monarch. Does it have wings? What does it eat? It might not have bright orange wings, but if you take a closer look, you're sure to find that it's just as fascinating.